throws. I'm about sick of y'all. And it ain't for what you think. Why I always got to be the villain? Why I got to always be the villain? Why I, I got to be the one that everybody mad at for speaking the truth? My bad. I'm not sorry. I'm lying. I'm lying. Don't touch my horns. They hold up my halo. Here's the truth. Dude, I want you to find the type of woman that you want. Where's your self-esteem at, bro? Like, if you really had some self-esteem and something really going on for yourself, you'd make better choices than women, bruh. It's women everywhere. In the United States, you literally don't have to hop a boat or a pigeon. It's really women inside of the United States who are dumb enough to date you. Beautiful, too. Out here submitting. You're the problem, bruh. You are the problem. You think if you get on a flight or a boat and you go over to another country, you want to stop being the problem? I'm sorry, I'm the bearer of bad news. Hunt. Everybody, this Afro Think Tank. Uh, this is a response to that video you guys just watched. And this picture is a picture of an African-American man who went to Africa and found him a beautiful black woman with culture and respect and the understanding of how to be a strong, powerful, yet feminine black woman and you see they're clearly happy with children and the funny thing when i see videos of bitter middle-aged african-american women come on the internet and think they saying something when they're 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 sitting there complaining about these men that they clearly don't like because she was totally disrespectful to african-american men she called them stupid and and dumb and and all these little things right so she thinks that she gonna put a bunch of makeup on her face a whole mask right she draw her eyebrows in her hair is fake her she got way too much makeup on her eyebrows fake everything about her is fake and clearly if you look at that left finger ain't no ring on there right so instead of saying oh what's wrong with me why is it that a good decent black man don't want to pick me she just sits there, doubles down on her ignorance, doubles down on her short white female, uh, you know, the short white female with the pink hair, purple hair, green hair, that she doubles down on that type of ideology, thinking she's being cute on the internet, saying that black men are the problem. When in actuality, she still has yet to realize that she and people like her are the problem. That's why she will remain single. She, she can be as fake cute as she want with all her fake shit she got on while they happy passport bros are going to places like africa to find beautiful black women who knows how to be feminine you see this woman right here she's beautiful she got her own eyebrows i'm sure she got her own hair underneath there that's her own skin and that's her actual face she don't have to wipe that face off look how happy he is so while you got these ignorant ass self-defeating african-american women not all because like i said i got me a beautiful black chocolate feminine african-american woman they do exist that is true and she don't disrespect me like this woman clearly disrespected all black african men who decide they want to pick up take their passport and go find other black women or other women who appreciate how awesome african-american men are how awesome and amazing uh we are as husbands and as fathers so, and yet again, notice on her left finger, <laughs> she did not have a ring. Therefore, she is no, she's not an authority on anything. She is, in fact, the problem. That's all I got to say. This is Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something, I'm out.